What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a small little diagram in the back. We got an armor of vendetta that crashed. I'm going to show you a couple of clips and then I'm going to make you guys uh, understand a little bit about the little clips that you're going to see. How my RC lost control due to the braking, due to the amount of braking, due to the weather. So everything plays a big factor and a big role. So your wheels, your weather conditions, cold, hot weather, um, your braking, your gearing itself plays all factor in how your car is going to stop. First of all, this is a 1.8 scale Vendetta here. This thing, I want to show you a video how as I try to brake, the braking caused the car while well, the ESC shut off, but the braking was not good enough. And then uh, we got a uh, big rock which uh, skidded, which skidded like a skipping a rock on a ro on the water. So that's what happened with that baby. So let's take a look at clip number one with the Vendetta. Take a look at this. Now that you saw that, take a look at this clip number two with the big rock, big rock just twice, two runs, and it, it, it skidded like it's on the water. Anyways, take a look at this. Oh. Okay, so now you saw all that, we're gonna pay attention to this board and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, braking setup on your RC. I'm gonna show you guys uh, something on the board that I have a little drawing off here. So pretty much what we have here is, we have here is, uh, let me move this out of the way. We have 100% throttle output and we got 100% braking. So pretty much we're running this Vendetta here. I'm gonna zoom up a little bit more. And uh, so we can see a little bit here, there you go. So this Vendetta was what I was running. So what I was doing here was, uh, I was taking that throttle as I was doing the run. I went slowly and I gunned it. So pretty much what I did was, I gunned it and I was on 100% throttle. When it came to, it's time to stop. Me personally, you only got 10 seconds of run. You are gonna panic. So I went into that panic. I still got that fear, even though I've been running RGs for a while now. I still have that fear in me, but I gotta put that in my head. It's time to stop doing that. So, pretty much what I did here was I went from fully throttle, time to stop, the car went past me, woo, straight up braking. So that's what this diagram is about. So let's look at this diagram one more time. So, so pretty much uh, what happened here was that the Vendetta was going 89 mile per hour. Even though I showed the crash was this way, the crash was actually going to the right. So pretty much both cars had a, a factor role on, uh, on the condition of the road, first of all, because it was cold day. And secondly, pretty much the car went so fast. I had this baby set up at uh, 60%. I usually do 70 but I think that's a lot for this car but you do need brake if you're running a limitless or if you're running a Typhon those vehicles need braking okay those things are run them up to 70 80 percent going 134 they heavy cars okay so what happened here was me um, I sent the car and then all of a sudden when it starts to break what I did was I locked up the brake so the correct thing would have been to do is I'm gonna show you guys so first of all it went and then I braked 100%. The car must have, not must have, the car skidded because the wheels locked up and uh, it went into one side. So going so fast, small little uh, bit of uh, traction to one side, it will cause. So the right thing would have been done to, for me to do was uh, push the trigger, full throttle when it needed a full throttle. When it's time to come to stop, I would, I should have had let go of the trigger to a neutral position. Maybe a second later, I would have given a small, small amount of braking and then uh, probably one, two, and then uh, stop completely and the car vehicle would have come to stop. But anyways, that was a mistake I made. So you are going to make mistakes like that. It's better to watch your video and learn. So your braking setup should be something that you feel comfortable with, first of all. And that braking amount, okay, a lot of people would just push it to 60, 70, 80%. But that does uh, affect the car from stopping. The way it's going to stop depending on the what scale your vehicle you got. So pretty much one more thing I have experienced 
One more thing I have experienced here is we're gonna talk, we're gonna take these gears, okay? So I was running 20, uh, 934 here. So if you take these gears, okay? So this is your output gear and this is your input gear. So pretty much, this is a big gear, okay? So when this thing wants to come to stop, it, it will do its magic work and it will heat up the ESC in the motor. And that's another thing that a bigger, bigger gear is gonna heat up your ESC and that's gonna kill your brake too if your ESC uh, dies on you. But anyways, on my big rock, it's a 2900 TP. That's one to one ratio I have in there. It's 32, 34, that's almost one to one, okay? So, um, that's gonna that's gonna give it instant brake and even though I had that thing at 60 70 percent and then I brought the brake down and the car acted better my last one was all it went all the way to the end and uh, um, and that was uh, because I launched a little further and I tried to brake slowly and I had less of a break anyways another thing I experienced was let's say this gear was uh, 18 okay and this was uh, 54 you're gonna have no, even though you're gonna have 80, 90% of the brake, you're barely gonna have brake there because I experienced that. Too little for output gear is gonna cause your car to not have that kind of brake, okay? That much of a brake. So that's another thing. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video helped you guys out understanding the braking and the issue I had. So the theme here is you have to control your brake. You can't just gun it and then all of a sudden from 100% output to 100% braking is you're slamming the pedal to the metal and that's gonna make your car skid and lose control. And that's exactly what happened here. And I'm gonna avoid that situation from coming up ever happening to me, but you never know. When you out there, it's a different ball of game. You're scared, you're nervous, and that car passes by you 100 mile per hour. Woo, you're in panic mode. First thing you thought would be brake, okay? So take it easy, let go, and if you need to brake, brake, but um, do test out your brake first. Another thing that you need to test out is when the car is going, uh, do a small little small 20, 30 mile per hour pass. So if your car is going, it's going straight, and then as soon as you let go of the throttle, it will try to pull to one side a little bit. That's something that you need to either correct or be prepared and remember that when you brake, your car is gonna do. So that was one of the scenarios there as well. So my car, when I try to brake or try to stop, so it is braking as you let go of the throttle and then the car was pulling. So that's something I would have been aware of. I should have kept that in my mind that the car, when it's going 100 mile per hour, it's gonna, when I brake, it's gonna try to skid to one side and I do have to control it and control it to go straight or the opposite way, but I just can't turn the other way either. Anyways, Long story short, test your brake out, check your brake out, be comfortable, and be prepared to control your car at the end of the run. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye, stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and give it a thumbs up.